late 17th century, the Spanish community in St. Augustine decided they needed protection from invaders, including pirates and Native Americans, as well as the British. So they decided to build a fort, the Castillo de San Marcos. Fuego! Construction began in 1672 and continued for 23 years. It was built from coquina blocks quarried at Anastasia Island. Because the coquina is soft and crumbly, the walls absorb the impact of cannonballs, resulting in minimal damage. The walls of the fort were once covered with a white plaster made of lime, sand, and water. The trim and sentry towers were covered with the same type of plaster, dyed red with brick dust. The Castillo de San Marcos still stands along the bayfront in the heart of Old St. Augustine. It has stood guard over the city for over 300 years, making it the oldest masonry fortification in North America. The fort spent 200 years on active duty and served under five different flags. It was known as Fort St. Mark while under British control from 1763 until 1784. When Florida became American territory in 1821, it was renamed Fort Marion. The fort was used during the 19th century to inter Native American prisoners, including Osceola. The Union took it from the Confederate States without a single shot being fired. In the first half of the 20th century, it became a national monument and was transferred to the National Park Service Care. In 1942, its original name, the Castillo de San Marcos, was restored. Archaeologists have excavated numerous areas around and in the fort, including the moats, plaza, and terraplane. The first excavations took place in the 1930s. Several archaeologists have excavated the Kubo Line, the earliest in the 1930s. This line was the city's defensive wall. It was built from palm trees and completed during the Second Spanish period. A portion of it has been reconstructed near its original location on the west side of the fort. Beginning in 1938, the moat was filled in with water. This caused major damage to the coquina walls. In 1996, the moat was drained and conservation efforts ensued to repair cracks and crumbles. Badly damaged coquina was replaced with blocks mined from the same quarry on Anastasia Island. The newer blocks still retain their blonde color. Heavy foot traffic also caused damage to the gun decks. Poorly repaired surfaces added to the problem, causing leaking roofs, plant growth, and cracking floors. Layers of old repairs had to be stripped away and replaced with less damaging mortar, blocks, and concrete. While the repair work was underway, archaeologists had a chance to excavate the gun decks. The stratification of the walls showed the many different layers and repairs that had been added over the years. Today, volunteers don the Spanish uniforms and fire the cannon several times daily on weekends. Park rangers offer a variety of interpretive talks as well as a short video about the history of the fort. Visitors are welcome to explore the interior and upper decks of the fort at their own leisure. However, because the coquina is so old and fragile, visitors should take care to not touch, lean, or sit on the walls. The fort also features several interpretive panels about early life and weaponry, as well as a case of related artifacts. The cannons that were once fired at the fort still sit on display today. The Castillo de San Marcos is open every day except Christmas, from 8.45 until 5.15. Tickets are $6 for adults, children 15 and under are admitted free. For additional information, check out their webpage at www.mps.org. Oh,